Good morning. Am I live? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Good morning. Good morning. It's Allison with Upright and Caffeinated, and we are going to do my favorite project for Christmas gifts. Um, so I'm, we're kicking it old school. We're doing kind of the old way of how I used to um, how I used to set up before I had the multi camera view because my other phone is completely dead, so I can't do the overhead view. So hopefully you guys can see okay. If you're hopping on live, please say hi so that I know you're live. And um, if you are watching this on replay, thank you so much for watching. I just realized that um, I made. <laughs> I look like I have Mickey ears. I made this, um, it's the joy wreath and then the two established wreaths. I made it to look like um, Mickey ears and then I did the welcome home because we're uh, Disney Vacation Club members. And so I made that to go upstairs by the boys' Disney tree. Um, so I'll tell you guys, it's a big secret, but I will tell you guys, um, we are taking our kids to Disney, but it's a huge secret and they have no idea, but we're going back um, around Christmas time and so normally whenever we go to Disney, I do a countdown to Disney and I have a little sign. I actually used the Chalk Couture Countdown to Christmas uh, transfer from last year, but then I made Disney ears with my Cricut. So it's a countdown to Disney. So like last year when we went, we did a countdown to the days. But this year, since they don't know we're going, we can't do a countdown. So I made this sign right here that says welcome home instead. And that's just, that can go up all season, all Christmas. And so, um, I was going to put it up, but right now I have it sitting back here, and literally, if I sit right here, it looks like I am wearing Disney ears, so ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to pop on just, I'm just going to look on my phone just to make sure that I am live and everything's running right. It looks like it is wonderful. I'm going to share this to a couple of groups really quickly before I get started. If I can just find, here we go. Let's see here. All right. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to do my favorite, favorite, favorite Christmas gift idea today. And to do that, we're using tea towels. Okay. Tea towels are such an awesome Christmas gift because who doesn't need an extra tea towel? Um, I, you know, people around the holidays, they'll put a tea towel like, you know, on their, um, on the like handle of their oven or, you know, hanging, um, you can even use these in the bathroom. I have them in, um, in my powder room downstairs. We use, we use these flower set tea towels as hand towels. So these are a great, great, great gift. I'm going to move this down so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, these are a really great gift idea and they're simple to make. Um, and these towels are inexpensive, but they're nice. They're really good quality. So these are 28 by 28 inches. Uh, flower set towels. They are such high quality and they come with, I don't want to unfold this too much. They come with like this little loop right here. Okay. So you can hang it. Um, if you have like a hook or something, you can hang it, but I just try fold them and this one's already tri folded. So I just try fold them and then I do the, the inking right here in the center. Now I want to tell you about this because I've been ordering from the same company for like a year now, okay? And they used to send things in like a little plastic bag. Then they switched to a box, so they came in a box. I just ordered my last shipment and it comes in a flower sack, like an actual flower sack. It comes in a flower sack bag, okay? So here's how they come, right? Whoop, there's my 12 tea towels, okay? This, take this off, take this little sticker off, how cute is that? I have yet another thing to ink. <laughs> I am so excited. Like I kind of freaked out when I saw that. This is so cute. Um, if you have like a gift that you need to wrap, ink on the outside, put your gift in there, and you have a, a little like sack to put your Christmas gifts. I I totally geeked out when I saw that the other day. So um, this this color I think was called off-white. This color is called natural. I don't know if you guys can even tell. There is just the slightest, slightest difference in the color, but the natural, I really like the natural. It's more white than the off-white, okay, if that makes sense. This one is natural, and I love it. It looks beautiful, okay. I will leave the link. I have a link to um, 
Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Jessica. So I will leave the link to my um, blog post all about tips and tricks for doing these exact tea towels. And it has the link of where to buy these tea towels. They're from Amazon. The company's called Linen and Towel. But the link to the exact ones that I use are in that blog post. But there's also some really good tips and tricks that you don't want to miss. So I'll just leave the link um, to that post in the comments. Um, you have a few and you're using them to make scent Nick bags for the grandkids. I love it. I love it. Um, the other thing I just ordered too is uh, canvas laundry bags, which are much, much, much bigger, but they're canvas and I'm going to ink the same thing and I'm going to make, you know, like those Santa sacks that can go like by a fireplace or something. Um, I'm actually making those to sell. So I'm doing a vendor event at the end of next month um, in a little local town by us. And, um, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to make a bunch of signs because I feel like people aren't buying signs as much. Um, they love tea towels. The last event that I had that I had tea towels for sale, people bought them all. Um, I, I think I sold out of tote bags and I sold all, almost all of my tea towels or vice versa. Um, but people like the inked things. So I think I'm going to make tea towels and Santa sacks instead of, instead of signs because Lots of people do signs, but today we're doing this. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. I just stuck my ink mat in the top layer of that um, of that tea towel, and then we're using Merry and Bright today, okay? So I have never used this transfer, and I am going to peel it right off side to side or top to bottom, but not corner to corner because you don't want it to stretch, and then um, I'm going to stick this right about there. Yep, that looks good. I don't measure anything, everything I eyeball. <laughs> um, one of the things I love about this stuff is you can eyeball it and it's still going to look great. I am not fuzzing this transfer because it's going right onto fabric. The only time you need to fuzz your transfers is when you're using it on a hard surface. Okay, so let me just check comments really quickly. Oh, hi, Auntie. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use, I wanted to do, um, this shimmer copper for the word bright. If I had shimmer silver, I would use shimmer silver. I just ordered a whole bunch of new inks and I have all the shimmers coming. I have all different, all different colors, but I've got lots and lots of inks coming because I'm actually doing a few make and takes this holiday season and we're doing tea towels. So um, I think just the, the thought of giving a gift that's handmade that is something that someone will use, like a towel, not just a sign that hangs up in their house, but actually something that they will use. I just love the idea of that. So I am just gonna stir up these inks really quickly. I forgot to put water in my little water bath. Good thing I've got a bottle of water sitting right here. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a few, um, I'm doing a few tea towel classes. And actually, um, one of the groups that I'm doing it with, they wanted to do um, table runners too. And so they're actually bringing their own table runners because it, um, I was looking at table runners and I was like, ooh, it's kind of hard to figure out like what size, what width, what, you know, people have different size tables and different styles. And so they're bringing their own table runners and we are gonna ink them. So, um, but these, these um, these towels are just the cutest. They are so, so cute. So again, let me check comments one more time before I start inking. My thing is frozen, so hopefully you guys can still hear me, but I can't see anything right now. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I am gonna do Mary in red. I'm gonna do bright in the copper, and then I'll do the stars in the copper, and then maybe a little green, um, green ornaments or green and red for the ornaments. All right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to start with this shimmer copper. All right. And one of the things you want to do when you're using ink is kind of start outside of the silk screen area. So start kind of on the blue side and then squeegee it in to the, into the silk screen. Okay. And that's just going to help prevent bleeding because nobody wants their ink projects to, to bleed. All right. So just squeegee into it. And that'll give you nice crisp lines. And um, I did make sure that when I was putting this 
onto the towel. I pressed really good. I made sure that I had a good seal between the transfer and the towel. And I've got my ink mat underneath and the ink mat does a couple of things. It's gonna, first of all, make sure that this uh, ink doesn't bleed through to the backside. So this is great for like, you know, anything with a backside. Uh, tote bags, t-shirts, um, you know, towels, anything that has a backside. The other thing it's doing is it's keeping this towel stable and in place. So as I take my squeegee and move it across, it's not shifting or moving the towel. All right, so a couple reasons why we use the ink mat. The ink mat is sticky, so it's awesome. Um, if you have a Cricut, it's kind of like a Cricut mat. You know how the Cricut mats are kind of sticky? It is very, very similar to that. So, all right, so I'm doing Mary in this red. And I am using the mini squeegees. If you have a multi-tool, that's gonna work really well. I'm not really sure where mine is. Haven't seen it in a couple days. Um, but the multi-tool is like a pencil. Um, and that works really well for getting in small places. Let me see if it's down in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It was just way at the bottom. Got it. All right. So I think I'm going to do a couple of these green and maybe that one red. So I'm actually going to use the multi-tool for this, this green one right here. All right. So I love this tool for doing small little projects, small little things, small little details. It works great. All right. And it's nice that it, it you hold it like a pencil. And I mentioned this before if you're working with little kids the multi-tool is great because they know how to use a pencil and they know how to hold a pencil and they are much better with a pencil than a squeegee believe it or not kids kids seem to to do much better with the pen with the multi-tool because they're holding it like a pencil um i was kind of surprised when i was working with my kids that they much preferred that and they were much better they had better control with the pencil or with the multi-tool because it's like a pencil, sorry. <laughs> all right, everything's all inked in. The great thing about ink too, another little tip, it doesn't dry quite as fast as the chalk. So you can kind of do different colors and sort of take your time. Um, so I, I really like that about the ink. But you ready? Oh my God, it's perfect. <laughs> I love it. You guys, I've been doing this over a year and I still get so excited with the reveal. I love it. What do you think? Ah, who wouldn't love to get this as a gift? These are awesome teacher's gifts. Every teacher has a bathroom and a kitchen and they need a towel. Um, look how stinking cute that is. I love it. I love it. So, um, there's also, if you're not into, um, if you don't want to do Christmas, um, I'm actually doing, a, my, my neighbor is having me come and uh, do a project with the ladies from her synagogue. We have a couple of Hanukkah transfers that we're going to do on the tea towels, but we also have some awesome just baking and kitchen ones that are perfect. The uh, Wicked Chickens transfer is fantastic, fantastic. I've done that one on a towel. I don't have one out here, but the Wicked Chickens is really cute. And then there's another one that's um, it's got like a tiered cake and it has um, like baking measuring cups and bowls and stuff. And that one's another really cute one to do on a tea towel. So even if you don't want to do um, Christmas, there's lots of other options if you want to give a tea towel as a holiday gift. But I love how this turned out. So um, I'm really excited about getting the silver because I think um, the shimmer silver will look really, really pretty with this particular transfer. But um, I am just in love with how that turned out. So let me tell you what I'm going to do next after I check these comments. Um, good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Lisa. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, Sharon. So I do not pre-wash my towels. No, these towels, I've never had a problem with them shrinking. I've never had a problem or an issue with them. So straight out of the, ba the bag, literally the flower, the flower sack bag that it comes in. Um, I just ink straight on them. I do not wash them first. Um, 
T-shirts I usually do wash first just because I don't want the shrinkage. Um, although I have found that Walmart brand t-shirts, that tried and true I think is the brand, Walmart t-shirts hold up much, much better than like Old Navy or Target t-shirts. Those t-shirts seem to shrink, but the Walmart ones don't. So very interesting. Um, but no, I don't wash them beforehand, but they, um, I have done lots and lots of towels. I've done lots and lots of t-shirts and I haven't also, I have not had a problem with the ink fading um, as long as you heat set it. So let's talk about that next. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm here. We'll go ahead and open this up. I'm going to pull all of this out. Okay, you can see how giant this towel is. It's huge. Okay, so what I'm going to do is very, very carefully, I am going to remove the ink mat. And you can see when you pull off the ink mat, there is wet ink on that ink mat. So I'm going to do this very carefully. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to hang it up. Um, usually I hang it on the backs of my chairs just like this. So there we go. So I'm just going to hang it. The, the design is back there. Now, after this dries for at least 24 hours, I'm going to take my iron because I have just a regular, regular household iron with the steam function off. I'm gonna use a little piece of parchment paper on the ink side, and I'm gonna iron it for three to four minutes on medium heat. Then I'm gonna flip it over. You don't need parchment paper on the back side, but I'm gonna iron the back side, and I'm gonna do that for three to four minutes, also on medium heat. So a couple things to take away from that. One, turn the steam function off. <laughs> Two, make sure, make sure, make sure that your ink is completely dry before you start ironing it. And um, also, if you want to protect your iron and protect your fabric, just use a, a little piece of parchment paper. Make sure it is parchment paper and not wax paper. There is a difference. <laughs> um, one of our designers found that out the hard way, so make sure you get parchment paper. Um, if you don't have parchment paper, you can just use a, a, a towel. You know, if, if you had an extra one of these towels that you kind of don't care about, um, it's just to protect to make sure that um, the ink doesn't uh, transfer onto the um, iron and also to protect the design from getting scorched if for some reason your iron's a little too hot or if your material is a little more sensitive. Um, if you're using a heat press, which you totally can, make sure that you look at the instructions for the heat press on what temperature setting to use for that particular fabric. So if I'm using a Cricut Easy Press, what I'm gonna do is look for, um, you know, I'll, I'll look at what these are exactly made of, which I pretty sure they're, are they 100% cotton? Yes, these are 100% cotton. Um, so what I would do is just um, look at the Cricut guide for what to use with 100% cotton. I think it's 310. And if you're doing an easy press, all you do is you put it on the, the image, um, put it on your towel or whatever you're inking, <laughs> heat setting, put it on there, um, hit your button for 30 seconds at whatever temperature it says. So if it's 310, 310 for 30 seconds. Lift it up and do the same thing on the back. Much, much faster if you have an easy press, but um, I use a household iron because that's what I have. <laughs> so, and it works great, works really, really well. So I've done lots and lots of ink projects that, again, these towels are my favorite. They make the best gifts. Good morning, Linda. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you learned something new, maybe. <laughs> um, like I said, I will leave that link to that blog post all about my tips and tricks for using ink, especially on these particular towels. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below because I will continue to uh, check the questions. If you are not in my VIP group, the link is in the description. Um, click to join. It's my free crafting community. It's called Coffee Chalk. Um, that's where I share all of my deals and specials and discounts and bundles. So please join up there. And um, if you are at all interested in learning how to make money crafting, if you want to learn about the business side of Chalk Couture, leave me a comment that says business and I will get in touch with you. I'll add you to my opportunity group. You can learn all about making money crafting. So again, thank you guys for joining me. Happy Monday. Good morning, Marisol. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will pop in again later this week. Thanks.